When writing an essay at A-level, it is vital that our essays convey our arguments clearly. One key element in this is to structure paragraphs in a way that addresses the question and uses and analyzes relevant evidence. The approach we're going to recommend to you in this video is the PEEE -E -E approach. You may have come across PEE, -E, which is point, evidence and then explain, in English or a history at GCSE. But when you reach A-level, to achieve a more mature approach, it is essential that you include the extra E, which stands for evaluation. By evaluating in your essay, you can achieve a more developed line of argument, allowing you to push your essays into the higher levels. To evaluate is to weigh up and determine the value of something. In the case of an A-level history essay, we are evaluating the points raised in the essay and how they address the question. Using the PEEE -E -E approach can help us to think about how we can evaluate in an essay. So P is for point, a theme argument that is used to answer the question. E is your evidence, so the sources or historians that support your view. E for explain, how the evidence demonstrates the point you've made, and E for evaluate at the end, and that's how the point or paragraph answers the question. This part delivers a brief judgement on the validity of the point made. To help you understand how this may work in practice, we have prepared an example question from the 2014 AQA Section B paper on the making of a superpower USA 1865 to 1975. Though this question is from a specific exam board, the skills that we use and talk through are transferable across all exam boards at A-level, so I don't think this isn't relevant to you. Our question is, between 1945 and 1968, it became clear that the United States was a deeply divided nation. Assess the validity of this view. Now we will use the PEEE -E -E approach to structure a paragraph that will answer the question. To answer the question, you could obviously consider multiple arguments, but the one that we've chosen to focus on is one considering race in the USA, and our statement agrees with the question Joe mentioned earlier. So, our point is that issues around race divided the nation in the year 1945 to 1968. The evidence we're using to support this is the use of segregation in public areas, for example buses. Furthermore, events such as the Freedom Rides 1961, and they demonstrate how the different states reacted and confronted, when confronted with a group that challenged the social norms. For example, the African Americans rode in the front of the bus whilst the white Americans sat in the back. Also, the existence of groups in the South, such as the KKK, who are dedicated to white supremacy and practices such as lynchings. Our explanation may then centre around how these three events show that race meant the USA was deeply divided. Having made these judgments, our evaluation would then draw this point out into the wider argument. So we could evaluate this point in a few ways. A couple of examples we thought of are, we could say that these circumstances are essential when understanding division in America and how they prove how deeply the USA was divided. Or we could say, however, this is not as important as an argument when compared to other themes, like political division, and that lynchings were rare even in the South. So there is not a lot of great difference between the northern and southern states. As a disclaimer, we like to say that we do not necessarily believe either of these views, and neither of them represents our establishment, but that what we then show is how to use these points to support our central, big argument. Overall, hopefully what we've shown in this video is how to draw every point in an essay into your core argument by carefully evaluating the value of each point, possibly in comparison to others, and how it answers the question. We hope that this video helps you in your future essay assignments, and good luck with your exams.